Have you seen it? I mean, have you seen it? Seen what? Directly opposite. You can't miss it. It's all along the Frisbee's garden wall. What is? Filth. Verbal filth. <laughs> oh, you should see it. Golly, where? Well, don't look, June. Well, darling, I'm over 21. Age has got nothing to do with it. The kids who wrote that muck couldn't have long left nursery school. What makes you think it was kids? Well, no, it's a very low wall. And anyway, those... <laughs> they, they've spelt half of it wrong. <laughs> so it must have been kids or an illiterate midget. <laughs> well, there aren't many of them in Purley. No, of course not. No, of course not. I, I blame, I blame all this free expression they teach in schools nowadays. I mean, when I was a kid, if we wanted to express ourselves, we were given a dollop of plaster scene and a couple of pipe cleaners. <laughs> now it's a copy of Playboy and an aerosol can. <laughs> I mean, nobody cares. Nobody cares. As soon as I got out of the car, I rang the Frisbee's doorbell and indicated it might be an idea to wash it off. And do you know what he said? What? He can't see it from his side. <laughs> well, I suppose that's true. Well, no, it's true, but it doesn't alter the fact that it is there. And it is offensive to every decent-minded person in the avenue. Well, if you feel that strongly about it, why don't you wash it off? Well, I mean, it would look as if I was the one who put it there in the first place. <laughs> what does it say, anyway? Do you, I'd, I'd rather you didn't look, dear. Darling, I can't avoid it forever. All right, then. Brace yourself. It's, it's not a pretty sight. Well? You're right. What? They have spelt it wrong. <laughs> Is that all you can say? God, when I was a kid, children were seen and not heard. Now they're obscene and heard too damn often. <laughs> if only more people would take an interest in children these days. I mean, we'd have a lot less of that out there. Oh, it makes me so angry just to look at it. Well, don't look at it then. Honestly, darling, didn't you ever write things on walls when you were a child? Well, of course I did, but it wasn't the condensed works of D.H. Lawrence we've got out there. <laughs> I mean, it was silly things like, well, I don't know, Sidney Wilkes got fleas. <laughs> or Lottie Sutcliffe's feet smell. <laughs> and if we drew anything, it was always that same stupid bald headed bloke looking over a wall saying things like, what no bananas? <laughs> I'm like, I've never written anything as vulgar as, here comes Tina. I don't see anything particularly vulgar about that. No, no, Tina from next door, she's coming up the drive. I'll bet she's been upset by this outrage. I think Tina's fairly robust. Oh, physically, yes, but mentally she's as vulnerable as a child. <laughs> yes, and not a, <laughs> not a particularly intelligent child either. <laughs> if I'm any judge, judge of character whatsoever, she'll be, she'll be shot to the very marrow. Go in, Tina. <laughs> Tina. Tina. Hello, Terry. How are you? I mean, how are you, really? Oh, well, not bad. Not bad. Do you hear that, not bad? Implying that she certainly isn't good? Bearing up. Bearing up, meaning that there is some kind of burner under which she is staggering? Well, in that case, perhaps she had better sit down. Yes. Oh. Right. Come and sit down here. Sit down there and try not to think about it. Think about what? Oh, this, that and the other. Mainly, <laughs> mainly the other. <laughs> about my nephew Magnus, actually. We've got him staying with us till Sunday. The obviously the burden under which she is staggering? Oh, he's not a burden. He's quite a nice kid, really. Mm. So I was wondering if we could bring him round this evening for a little chat. Well, of course you can, Tina. I mean, a child's mind is a tender plant. And when that plant has been bruised, we must nurture it and tend it and restore his innocent vision of the world. There's nothing wrong with his eyesight. We just don't know what to do with him. <laughs> I thought it might be a bit of fun if he entered the church fair and fancy dress parade on Saturday. And Brian thought you might have some ideas for a costume. Mm, Brian would. Well, I said I didn't think you'd want to get involved, but he said just you show Terry a pie and he can't wait to get his finger in it. Yeah. <laughs> and more often than not, I end up with egg in my face. No, thank you. No, no, I mean, I've got reports to write and telephone calls to make. I mean, besides, I, I don't even know the kid. Darling. What? Remember what you said? When? What? what? If more people took an interest in kids nowadays, we'd have a lot less of that out there. Ah. Oh, yes, of course. But when I said that, I didn't mean me. I mean, all the... I mean, uh, when I said that, I mean, I know what I said. It was other people, people other than myself, which, when I said what I said, I was... I had in my... And secondly, secondly... What are you trying to say, dear? What I'm trying to say is... is uh, obviously, 
Obviously, I, I would be glad to see the boy. Bring him on, I'll, I'll have a chat with him, Tina. <laughs> oh, that's terrific, Terry. We'll pop round about nine then, all right? Uh, 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 Tina, Tina, wasn't there something else, um, something else you wanted to talk about? Something, you know, um, unpleasant you've, um, <laughs> you've noticed recently? Is your neck gone again? <laughs> Never mind my neck. I mean, haven't you found something offensive? I mean, you know, something you like to keep from the eyes of little Magnus? You mean Brian's health magazines? <laughs> no, no, I mean writing. Obscene writing. Oh, no, I won't have them in the house. No, <laughs> not in your house. Not in your house. <laughs> on, on the wall, opposite, along Frisbee's wall. Oh, yeah, and it's shocking. You, there we are, you. There we are. She is shocked. I don't know what's happening to our educational system. Absolutely, just, just what I've been saying. As my Brian remarked this morning, things have come to a pretty pass when children can't spell something as basic as that. Exactly. <laughs> what? <laughs> come in, Brian. Terry won't be long. He's just upstairs on the phone. Hi, Harry June. This is Magnus. Say hello to Auntie June, Magnus. How do you do, Magnus? You're a very lucky lad, Magnus. I'm sure Uncle Terry's got some fantastic ideas for your costume. <laughs> You're going to get very excited, I bet. <laughs> oh, he's excited already, Brian. <laughs> Aren't you, Magnus? <laughs> hey, Auric can hardly contain himself. <laughs> yes, I can see it's a bit of a struggle for him. Come on, let's sit down. Come on, lad. Here we are, <clears throat> Tina. Hello, Magnus. I'm Uncle Terry. Sorry we kept you waiting, but I've been on the phone to the police about the naughty, naughty writing on the wall opposite. Are they going to do anything about it? Not much. Apparently every nosy old windbag in the district's been shrieking down the phone at them. <laughs> oh, Terry, they didn't call you that, did they? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't mean me. I'm sure they didn't. I mean, for one thing, I didn't shriek. I was, I was calm and very firm in my demands. Number one, they should catch the culprit. Number two, prevent it happening again. And three, remove the offending filth from the wall. And what did they say to that? Number one, get knotted. Number two... <laughs> numbers of two was a variation on number one. And, num and number three was a physical impossibility. <laughs> they didn't actually tell you to get... They, yeah, they did. <laughs> but anyway, they have promised to keep an extra lookout on patrol. A bit late for that. Coming out this evening, I saw the phantom scribbler had struck again. Oh, how awful. The little swan. Yeah, in the same red paint. All over number 49's gate. Uh, the same filthy message? <laughs> Actually, no. It had rather an amusing twist this time. Well, what, 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 what did it say? <laughs> <laughs> but you remember what it had on the frisbee's wall? Yeah, yeah go on, go on. <laughs> well, this time, it had... Brian! Pas devant les enfants. No, Junie, it wasn't in French. <laughs> I mean, there are children present. Now, I know what Magnus would like. How about a nice glass of orange squash? I'm afraid he's allergic to orange squash. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, perhaps a glass of milk, then? Milk makes him bilious. <laughs> yeah. how, about, how about a large brandy? Oh, now there's an idea. <laughs> Not asking you, Brian. He don't need anything. He's a very sensitive little chap. But very outgoing, really. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I can see that from here. Yeah. <laughs> Darling, I'm sure we're all dying to know what ideas you've got for Magnus's costume. Yeah. Yes, well, before I say anything, I think it's very important that we should hear, hear what, what Magnus thinks first. Now, come on, Magnus, I want you to tell us about all the things that excite you. Uh, I mean, what sort of stories and films you like? I mean, naturally, I've got an idea for your costume, but I want to hear your ideas first. So, come on, off we go. Oh, well, you really. <laughs> <laughs> you really want to know about it. Really? Not much, are we? I mean, not really. Don't go to the bridge, I'm not doing it. When you're all over, I'm not doing it, I'm never any more. I'm not going up to the bridge. I'm not going to the bridge, I'm not going to the bridge, I'm not going to the bridge. I'm not going to the bridge, I'm not going to If I did go to the I'm to choose your mum and buy her. I think going to the going to get out of here, Well, Terry? Um, <laughs> what did you think of his idea, darling? 
Well, I, I think, I think it, it's, uh, uh, to be, to be fair, perfectly frank, I didn't quite catch all of it, but, but, <laughs> but he wants, um, am I right in thinking that he wants to, to enter the contest dressed as some sort of parrot? <laughs> pirate! Pirate! Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought he said parrot. <laughs> oh, Magnus, that's a very good idea. Yes, certainly is. It's excellent. Oh, well done, Magnus. Well done. Super, super. Really first class. You think it's a good idea, then? No, of course I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, it would be contest to be crawling with pirates. No, it's a, it's a very obvious choice. I'm going to pirate. What? What's that? Right. He wants to go as a pirate. Yes. Yeah, I, I know you do, Magnus, but I mean, to win this sort of contest, I mean, you've got to be bold and original, and pirates aren't bold and original, are they? Still want to go as a pirate. He still wants to go as a pirate. I heard the little... I heard the little... <laughs> If, if he follows my suggestion, I mean, I mean, he'll walk away with the contest. What is your suggestion? My suggestion? Well, now, it is literally out of this world. Now, does that give you a clue? Spiritualism. No. <laughs> outer space? Out, well done. Outer space. Now, what is that programme they repeat year after year? Gardening club. Ga <laughs> Gardening club? What are you talking about? It's repeated every first. No, no, the, the show, I mean, has a character in it with pointed ears. Oh, uh, uh the, the Basil Brush. No. <laughs> Dr. Spock. Oh, Mr. Spock. Dr. O? No, no, that's the man with the police box. Dead cars. <laughs> Isn't that finished? Dead cars. No, gardening club. D hang on, hang on. Dead <laughs> cars is. What? Finished. No, will you listen? They both are, actually. Well, Dead cars and gardening club. Well, what about? Them. They're finished. No, never mind when they're finished. When are you going to finish? <laughs> I, I am referring to Star Trek. That's definitely finished. No, they repeat it every year. What, gardening club? No! <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, my God, a pirate. <laughs> he wants to go as a pirate. <laughs> Well, he's not going as a pirate. <laughs> he's going as a, a character out of, out of Star Trek. Now, imagine this is the day of the parade and all the other kids are wearing the usual sort of rubbish. When into the arena comes this glittering little spaceship. It stops in front of the judges, the lid lifts up and out pops Magnus, wearing a couple of false ears and a goldfish bowl on his head. <laughs> How about that for originality? Well, it's certainly original, darling, but where does he get this little glittering spaceship from? Well, he makes it. I mean, I've got a couple of old bicycle wheels in the shed he can have. All he has to do is mount a couple of cardboard boxes on top and cover it with silver paper, and there you have it. Yeah, you have what? The Starship Enterprise. I mean, a ten-year-old idiot could knock it up in a couple of... in half an hour. And you're not a ten-year-old idiot, are you, Magnus? He's twelve, actually. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a twelve-year-old idi 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 idiosyncratic little fellow. <laughs> Don't you think it's a bit ambitious, darling? I'm sure Magnus would be happier going as a pirate. Yes, I mean, he, I'm sure he'd be ecstatic. Well, hardly ecstatic, but he wouldn't win, would he? Well, winning isn't that important. What do you mean? Of course it's important. Well, what's the point of entering the damn thing if you don't intend to win it? It matters not who won nor lost, but how you played the game. Yeah, and that is the sort of defeatist claptrap that nearly lost us the Second World War. <laughs> <laughs> Supposing Magnus isn't very good with his hands. Oh, I'm afraid he isn't, and me and Brian ain't much better. Well, I'm sure he knows somebody who'd only be too happy to knock it up for him. Oh, I'm sure they do, darling, but when would you find the time? I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> As the idea so clear in your mind, obviously you're the only man to carry it out. Oh, Terry, what a kind offer. Yeah, but I haven't offered anything oh, yet. Yes, but I know you, Terry. It's just your modesty making you hang back. No, no, it's not modesty. No, it's a pressure of work. I mean, I, I'm, I'm up to here in, in, in back orders and trade reports. Yes, but it's only, oh, how long did you say it would take? Oh, oh, I don't know, it would take about... Oh. Half an hour, I think you said, wasn't it? Uh, was it? Uh, yes, yes, I, I think I did say half an hour. Well, surely you can find half an hour somewhere. Well... That's settled, then. Thanks a lot, old chum. You're a real sport. <laughs> oh, isn't that kind of Uncle Terry Magnus? What'd you say? I want to go as a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, just like a gramophone with a needle stuck. Mm. <laughs> that explains the urge I have to kick him. Tina, I think it's Magnus Betty Boy's time. Yes, come on, Magnus. Now, don't you worry. Uncle Terry will think of something. Oh, Brian, Brian, before you go, come in. Yeah? Just one question. What? Between you and me, what was written on number 49's gate? <laughs> I'm off to bed now, darling. 
Uh, may I come into your laboratory and make myself a cup of cocoa? Terry? Darling! June! Oh. I wish you hadn't done that. June, I want you to be very honest with me. I am being honest. I wish you hadn't done that. Look, look at this picture. Look Why, will it help? This oh. is a picture of the Starship Enterprise. Yeah. Now, beyond that door is my attempt to create something similar out of three cardboard boxes and a sorted bicycle wheel. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't covered it with silver paper yet because I wanted your opinion of it first before I went any further. Yeah. So go in that kitchen and tell me what you think. All right, darling, I will. <laughs> well? Well? Remember, remember, it's not covered with silver paper yet, so you have to use your imagination a little to imagine what the finished article will look like. Yes, I'll, uh, I'll try. Yeah, and don't, don't well, try too hard. Does this, in any way, shape or form, resemble the Starship Enterprise? <laughs> well, actually, no. <laughs> What do you mean, no? <laughs> it doesn't resemble the Starship Enterprise. What do you mean it doesn't resemble the Starship Enterprise? Exactly what I say. It's nothing like it. No, it's just your opinion, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought that was what you wanted. I mean, does it look like a flying saucer? Then? <laughs> Not really. Moon buggy? <laughs> no. What do you think it looks like, then? And you really want my honest opinion? Yeah? Three cardboard boxes and a sorted bicycle <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I am sorry, darling, but honestly, do you really think it looks like the Starship Enterprise? Well, I hope one of us would. <laughs> uh, save me scrapping it and starting from scratch again. Oh, no, darling, don't bother. Let him go as a pirate. No. <laughs> I mean, I can't. I mean, after the song and dance I made about it last night, I mean, Brahm would never let me live it down. Oh, what are you doing? I'm going out for a walk, trying to rethink the whole thing. Terry, I know they wouldn't want you to go to all this trouble. I'm not doing it just for them. Now, if this is going to be seen in public, I, I want people to say, Phew, look at that! Not, look at that, phew! <laughs> <laughs> shan't be long. What shall I do with the spaceship? Press the abort button. <laughs> <laughs> June. What? What's the matter? June, somebody's doing something very suspicious on a doorstep three doors down. Call the police while I go and investigate. What shall I say? The filthy phantom strikes again. <laughs> hey, you! Stay right where you are. Come back here, you little... Oh! 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 Dear. <laughs> Dirty little devil. <laughs> ah, good evening. My name's Medford. We just moved in across the road. Now, I know this doesn't look very good, but believe me, it would look a lot worse if I hadn't in been interrupted. I interrupted him. You see, he ran away in a ramrack. Ramrack. A uh, mamrack. <laughs> uh, he, he ran away. Who did? Yes, he was. Was what? Hooded. Who was hooded? Uh, the kid who did it was hooded. Uh, <laughs> hooded. Hooded. The kid who did it was hidden. Uh, hidden was hidden. His face was hidden in the hood. Just a minute. Let's have a look at this. No, I, w I wouldn't look. It's not very nice, and I'm sure you're not. Not what? Uh, what it says. Or your wife, either. How do you know what it says? Well, because I... Because... All right, then, have a look. Disgusting. How dare you? Now, listen, you've got the wrong person, I assure you. If, if you don't get out of my garden, I'll... I have no intention of going anywhere. I'm an innocent man. I have an alibi to prove it. Well, it had better be a good one. It's a very good one. Until a few minutes ago, I was in my kitchen building a spaceship. <laughs> and, and furthermore... Yes? I'm getting out of your garden. June, it's Tina. Look, sorry to disturb you, but this is the third night running that Terry's been banging away in the kitchen. Good heavens, it's after three. Oh, 
Look, I mean, we know he's doing it out of kindness, but it's killing us. Could yes. he have a word with him? Yes, of course, Tina. I'm so sorry. He can be a bit thoughtless sometimes. Uh, I'll go and talk to him now. Bye. June! Shh! June! June, I've done it! You've kept half the street awake. That's what you've done. I'm sorry, love, but knowing the contest was tomorrow, I had to finish it tonight. And would it sound immodest of me if I said it was rather marvellous? Fairly colossal and, and ever so simply fantastic? It might, yes. All right, then, to hell with modesty. Because it is. <laughs> Come and see. <coughs> <laughs> Behold the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> yes. oh. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, and mechanically sound too. <laughs> Incorporating all the latest scientific developments. Little Magnus sits in here yes. and propels the back wheels with his hands and steers the front ones with his feet. <laughs> Darling, it's brilliant. Yes, ma'am. All the finest brains in the galaxy have created the starship to boldly go where no man has gone before at approximately two miles an hour with the wind behind him. <laughs> I, I, I just don't know how you've managed it. I thought oh, it was touch and go about one o'clock this morning. If anything else had gone wrong, you'd have had a hysterical wreck sobbing on your shoulder. <laughs> What's it made of? Well, apart from the basic wooden frame, it's mainly chicken wire and tin foil. <laughs> I spent a fortune on the stuff. There's enough in there to fence in 60 chickens and cook them afterwards. <laughs> He's so sturdy. Oh, yes, yeah, strong enough to withstand gamma rays, sonic blasts, and little boys chucking stones at it. <laughs> hey, Terry, isn't that my calendar? Well, it was your calendar. Now it's the only radar scanner in the world that strains greens at speed. <laughs> <laughs> There's just one thing, darling. Oh, oh, well, well I, I, I hardly like to mention it, really. Oh, well, well, well. <coughs> How are you going to get it out of the kitchen? Well, I... I've... I've... <laughs> <laughs> Have you room on your shoulder for a stopping hysterical wreck? <laughs> we shall proceed to Burkitt Road, where we'll join up with the rest of the contestants and uh, those accompanying the floats. From there, the carnival procession will travel to Moss House Park, uh, where we'll have the grand triumphal entry and the judging. Now, uh, little ones, join hands, and you bigger ones, try not to let the carnival spirit urge you into excesses of behaviour. <laughs> and I especially refer to you over there with the, <clears throat> that article on your head. <laughs> what do you come at? The King of Poland! <laughs> so we can't allow that. We'll have to come off. I'm sorry. Oh, come on, Vicar. I'll form up into an orderly line and we'll all move off. Uh, Vicar, would it be asking too much to hang on a minute? The little lad who's entered this is a bit later. My wife is fetching him in the car. Uh, is this a, a float? No, it's a solo entry. All floats were supposed to assemble at Burkitt Road. But it's not a float. Uh, it's on wheels, and wheeled vehicles come under the heading of floats. I was not aware of that. I'm sorry. Well, that's all very well. You ought to be at Burkitt Road. Well, I'm not. I'm here. There's not much you can do about it except forgive my transgression and hang on till my wife gets here. <laughs> Please. Well, one minute, that's all. I thought I told you to take that off your head. Terry! Where is he? Where, where's Magnus? They're about to move off. He's not coming. What? When he woke up this morning, he had a red rash all over his face and hands. Brian thinks it might be measles. I don't care if it's the Black Death. He ought to be here. <laughs> the doctor's with him now. Sorry, Terry. Here's your goldfish bowl and rubber ears back. Off we go, then. Uh, Vicar, Vicar. Oh, has our little boy arrived? No, he's got a rash and can't come. Oh. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was wondering, do you think any of your little flock would like to go as something else? Well, uh... You could try the King of Poland over there. He's just been deposed. <laughs> well, well, well. This is your lucky day. You shall enter the fancy dress competition after all. Who are you then? Me fairy godmother. <laughs> Cut the wisecracks. Just stick these on your head and get in. What's that? 
that supposed to be? The Starship Enterprise, of course. Go on, hop in. I'm not getting in there. That's a death trap, that is. It's as safe as hell. <laughs> All right, you get in it. Where are you going? I'm taking this back before my grand misses it. Where's your sense of adventure? Where's your youthful love of a challenge? Go on and take it back to your granny. Hope she brains you with it. <laughs> Blast. Oh, darling, what a shame after all your hard work. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There is still a way we can enter it. Hmm? Jew. Oh, no, Terry, I'm not getting in that thing. No, I'm the one that's going to get into it. You and Tina can go back to the house and collect Magnus. I'll take part in the parade and we'll meet up at the park gates. Then he can take my place for the final judging. But he might be contagious. All right, we'll keep the lid shut. <laughs> oh. Terry, you can't drive this thing on your own. Right. It's far too dangerous. If you're that worried about me, you can walk in front with a red flag. I haven't got a red flag. All right. Wave the goldfish bowl instead. Shall I wear the rubber ears? Just don't make an exhibition. <laughs> Look who's talking. <laughs> right. Now I know what it's like getting into a roll-on. Right. <laughs> that just isn't enough shove to start me up. Terry, do you really think this is wise? Wise? Of course it's not wise. It's sheer lunacy. And I spent a fortune making this thing. I'm proud of it. My God, it's going to be seen. Good luck, darling. Give us a hand, Tina. OK. <laughs> OK, Tina. We have liftoff. Oh, thank God for that. Now, look. <laughs> Outside the park gates. I better get back to the starship now in case it falls down a black hole. <laughs> Terry? <laughs> Terry? Let me see. Terry? <laughs> Magnus. Oh, June, I don't know how to tell you he's being kept in the house as a punishment. Why? That wasn't a rash he had, that was red paint. I don't understand. Magnus was the filthy phantom. <laughs> no wonder he didn't have much to say for himself. Has the judging taken place yet? Yes, I'm afraid so. Who won? Small boy dressed as a pirate. <laughs> I bet Terry was furious. Well, he doesn't know. I've lost him. I've been standing here hoping he'd turn up. Well, we could drive round and try and spot him. Well, it shouldn't be too difficult. He's pretty conspicuous. And he can only do two miles an hour in that thing. He can't be far away. 